Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be playing around with some wing mirrors again. Just randomly a few weeks ago, a guy called Luke from the Netherlands reached out to me and said, look, really enjoy the channel and I've got something that you might actually want on the truck. And I was like, okay, I'm intrigued. So anyway, he sends me a couple of photos. Turns out he's got some legit elephant ear mirrors, which are, they would have been on the UK and Euro model caddy now i know it's probably not gonna suit an american rabbit pickup but mm, you know we both know that this truck is not 100 percent original so and of course if you really think about it you've probably seen already on the channel that we've gone from remote mirrors to big massive western chrome mirrors with the you know drilling holes at the top you know you would have seen on the previous videos and of course we've gone now to these which are mirrors from an mg i just like the chrome look i really love this truck sort of like green on chrome i'm not a big fan of the black i try and you know i, I need to do these this bottom bit here with the uh, the trim this the waistline trim i don't know what you guys think i'd love to get a nice chrome trim across there and i'd love to make that chrome along the bottom as well i'm just a sucker for chrome <laughs> but anyway the ebay listing said volkswagen so i bought it and i needed to <laughs> turns out i needed to drill two new holes to suit these mirrors they're all right but they're like 45 pounds which is a bargain right because the original if you wanted to get proper volkswagen ones that sit in the holes properly you're looking at 145 pounds so a cheap alternative is these on ebay for 45 pounds but you do have to drill new holes so i don't know what do you guys think do you think these mirrors suit i mean they're a nice low profile so anyway this package turns up outside my house and lo and behold we've got some elephant ear mirrors. We've got one good mirror there, that's left side. We've also got another one here for the right side. And we've also got just bits and bobs. Look, we've got this, obviously you've got a little crack there, but that's all the right hand side. Whoa. And then just some, some bits and pieces that we're gonna need. I guess we could just call this the spare bucket. You, know? you see, the original plan was I wanted this truck to be super, super functional. Like, I wasn't too fussed about what it looks like, really, and how fast it goes. I just wanted it to work and for it to, you know, I want to be able to use the mirrors. I want to be able to see everything around me, right? And as you remember, we had those big Western-style mirrors, the big chrome things that came out here and bosh, and they were like massive. In fact, they were too big. In my opinion, they are a bit of an eyesore on a small truck like this. But the thing is with those mirrors is that I could, in fact, see so much more because they were very tall mirrors. If we have a look at these mirrors, we are restricted. They're, they're pretty much the same size as flag mirrors that you would have seen on, you know, your normal Mark 1s, right? So we're going to just, I'm putting the phone where my eyes are right now. And we're just going to use this as like a reference. So later on, when we install these new mirrors, we're going to do a before and after of visibility. Oh, the annoying thing about these mirrors is that it takes an Allen key to take this bit off. And then you get a screwdriver. So that, that is how this works. Which is not the same as the Volkswagen ones. This is an MG mirror. As you can see, we had to drill new holes to just to make that mirror work. You can see where the remote mirrors used to sit, and I'm pretty sure this, let's try that. This is probably gonna sit in the same spot 
Yeah. So that's going to look ugly for a little while. All right, I'll just put that one into place. I mean, it's still kind of a little bit loose, so I can adjust it. But what are we reckoning at the moment? <sighs> so here we go. There's that side. And then we've got our little flag mirror here. Which do you prefer? I mean, this side is a little bit rough but it kind of it kind of suits the truck i suppose one might say we can always fix that up later i mean the other side is in really good condition but i'm sure we can fix that up if need be that's not too bad you know i mean it, it is it just me or is it like is the mirror a little bit warped is that usual is that normal for the elephant ear mirrors they seem a bit warped or bowed if you move your head it makes objects in the rear sort of skinnier we compare that to this side do you reckon is that too offensive on an american truck what do you reckon Let's just, let's crack on and do this other side and then we'll have another look. Okay, both mirrors are on. I don't hate that. I mean, they are pretty big, but I'm not angry at that. I'm not, I'm not fussed. Mirrors that are for a UK and Euro caddy on an American rabbit pickup. They're pretty big, a lot better. In terms of visibility, they're a lot better than the little flag mirrors. So what I'm going to do, now I've got my set position, I'm just going to use a 10mm socket and tighten just there, which I'm sure most Volkswagen mirrors have this same method where you tighten the middle to secure the position. Just to show you the legitimacy, there we go, which I know some people care about just to show you the purity got our little volkswagen logo there and of course we've got our embossed stuff there doesn't have the uh volkswagen emblem on the back there but does look legit so there we go let's go back to our before and after so left to right or right to left i can't remember how i filmed it but let's try and show a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm not mad at that. It's different, which is a running joke with me, is that I like anything that's different outside the box. And this is definitely it. Well, UK mirrors, UK Euro mirrors on an American rabbit pickup. I don't know. So firstly, I want to say a massive, massive shout out and thank you to a guy named Luke, who's from the Netherlands, who sent me these mirrors for free, just for being a fan of the show that we do here on YouTube. So Luke, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And guys, stay tuned because Luke is actually going to play a very large part, fingers crossed, in one of the next videos that you're going to see here on the channel. Basically, I'm importing some wheels from Spain via Netherlands to the UK. So stay tuned for that. We've got some new wheels coming for the truck, which has been in the making now for quite some time. So I can't wait to finally, finally receive these wheels. This is going to be great. So thank you to Luke. I'm going to put Luke's information down in the description below. Just make sure you go send him some love. Just do all the things, like his posts, follow him on Instagram, you know what to do. Great guy, great guy. In this video, I want to sort of interact with you guys watching this video now. Please don't be shy. Get yourself in the comment section and help me out, right? I want to know a couple of things. The first thing is, why are these elephant ear mirrors so expensive? Like in he here in the UK, these elephant ear mirrors, I see them going on eBay for like 150 plus maybe 180 for a pair of elephant ear mirrors i don't i don't understand why why are they so expensive that's my first question so if any is it because they're just rare 
here and they're not you know you don't see them very often is it because they're the original mirrors that would have come on these sort of like work trucks let me know the second question is what is the official name for these mirrors it's surely not elephant ear mirrors <laughs> so that's my second question my third question is what do you think of these mirrors on this truck now like i keep going on about it this is an american american truck and i feel that it needs smaller mirrors that suit the 1980 truck but these are truck mirrors from, and I can see, this is the other thing that a lot of people, when they leave comments either on Instagram or on YouTube, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I'm not taking that away from you, but you really, like, before you comment things and say, you should get this, you should get that, you need this, you need that, just remember that everybody's build or everybody's vehicle, they're tailoring it differently to perhaps differently to you. So for example, in my situation, I'm not trying to build a race truck. I'm not trying to make this the fastest thing in the world. I don't care about going from naught to 60 in a second. I don't care. I'm mainly using this as a daily, which a lot of people do not use their trucks or classic vehicles as a daily. Uh, so take that on board. I'm using this every single day. It's a workhorse and it absolutely plows. It is so good on fuel. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. But anyway, I'm using this as a daily. I use it to go long distance. Like I travel around the UK a lot of the time to go up and see Matt and go to all these different places. We go camping, use it for camping. It's got to put stuff in the back. I cut all this grass and I take all the grass cuttings and green waste to the... I, I use this as a, as a truck. I use it for, to do pickup things. I don't, like... I don't just bring it out when the sun is shining. Like, that's what I'm getting at. So, for people that want to do, like... Like, for people that say, you need to do this, you need to do that. Just remember... My uses for this truck are probably different to what your uses are for your truck or your car. So just bear that in mind. Some of the things that you're suggesting might not be as practical or needed in my situation. But nonetheless, I want to know what you guys' opinions are of these elephant ear mirrors. And uh, do you think they suit the truck? I think they look all right. I'm not mad at them. And the, one of the main boxes that I always wanted to tick is functionality. If you've been following along my journey long enough, you would know that most of my friends, my little caddy friends in this little circle, they all have UK caddies and they all have elephant ear mirrors. Sam's got the mirrors, Kieran, Jack, Adam, they've all got elephant ear mirrors. And now I can proudly say I'm part of the <laughs> elephant ear mirror gang. So uh, now I can see why they use them. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Do you rate them? What do you think? I know I'm being really picky here. They're just mirrors, but I am a Goldilocks. Remember, this is my fourth pair of mirrors on this truck. What mirrors can we put on it next? <laughs> no, jokes aside, thank you for watching this video. I know it's just a little laid back, chilled video about mirrors, nothing special, but we do have some very special projects coming this way very very soon i'm really excited and i don't want to give anything away but just stay tuned if you're not subscribed to the channel by now hit that button hit the notification bell so you get notified when we bring out these new projects and make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed me nattering on about absolute nothingness uh thank you guys and uh, i appreciate you if you've made it this far like what are you doing evaluate reevaluate your life uh, take care I'm about to have it I hop around the woods like a bat